What's going on YouTube? Gios right here. So in today's video we're discussing about Sheena 520's jailbreak for iOS 15 which was released. Well, sort of. For the newer devices. Like the iPhone 13, 12, 11, iPhone XS, XS Max and so on. This video is brought to you by Anytrans which allows you to drag and drop files directly from your computer to your device. You can easily do backups and do selective backups which only back up the files that are not already on your computer. Definitely check it out in the link below. So a couple of days ago, like 4 days ago, this was released. Sheena 520's beta jailbreak for iOS 15. It supports 15.0 up to 15.1.1 and it works on 8.12 and newer devices. So for once we have a jailbreak for the modern devices instead of the old ones. However, there is a problem with this. There is a reason I didn't make a video at that time and the reason for that is that this was a leak. Well, initially it was a leak anyway. So back on December the 7th, Shina 520 posted quote, from now on any plugin or tweak developer who needs to test can apply to me to join the developer public test group. Note that the current version only supports 15.0 to 15.1.1, A12 through M1 devices, and fake developers are not allowed. This didn't really work too well because the IPA file for the jailbreak has been leaked and there are a lot of IPA files floating around right now, either on GitHub or Mega or many other file sharing platforms. However, the reason I didn't make a video about this at that time was this. It was a leak and those IPA files are nothing but a beta. It's not the final version of the jailbreak and it's actually quite buggy. Of course, people being people downloaded that version and leaked it and, you know, shared it and stuff like that, which did not help the situation. This jailbreak is not stable as it is for the moment. Yes, it's functional and there are a lot of tweaks being updated for it at the moment, but the IPA file that was released privately by Shina520 was designed for developers because they know how to fix the issues if they occur. Now Shina520 did announce after that in here, quote, due to the leak of the version we have to open the test in advance. If you have any questions, please understand. Well, they also posted this in here, a readme containing a lot of information about how you can possibly fix the jailbreak, what precautions to have and stuff like that. But they also announced in here, if you're not a developer, it is recommended to wait for the official version. So yes, this is not the final version of the jailbreak and even the reddit jailbreak people over here do not recommend it for the users yet because this is pretty buggy and the people who did try it who weren't patient enough already got a lot of issues for example this person over here who says shina 520 crazy battery drain on iphone 13 well i'm sure it is you're running a beta jailbreak which was leaked so yes please do not install leaked jailbreaks at first because you do not trust the source of that leak it might not even be the original ipa it could be something modified by somebody else and you might be installing malware and even if you get the leaked IPA file the unmodified one then you will be running an untested and very unstable jailbreak please wait for Shina 520 to complete the jailbreak first and once they are able to release it publicly for everybody you will definitely have it it would be a pretty sad thing if you had to update your device to the latest version because you tried an unstable untested and leaked jailbreak so definitely wait for this to be complete thank you for watching I'm Geo Snow peace out